Okay, this video is to show you how to get started with Unity and how to save your projects on your OneDrive account rather than on your U Drive. So the district stopped uh, supporting our U Drives and in some cases uh, students' projects have been deleted if they've started using the U, the U Drive. Um, those are the drives that are only accessible when you're logged in at school. Now, so, and then the other thing is uh, I'm going to show you how to import a package um, for a project that might be partially started. If Mr. Grabowski, myself, gives you a project that's partially uh, started, and I'll show you how to do that. So, first thing I just want to point out, I am logged into Splash Top here, and I grabbed computer number 12 in this case. You can see it up here, computer number 12. And so I'm remotely logged in to Mr. Grabowski's computer lab at Coronado High School, room 12. I'll maximize that screen, but at any time it's really easy to identify what computer I'm on. Uh, that way if you're talking to Mr. Grabowski, you can, and he says, what computer are you on? Take a look up there. All right, well, number 12. The first thing we want to do is do not use Unity Hub. Click on the one with the highest number. In this case, see the highest version is 2019. And then it goes to Unity Hub automatically. And the reason we do that is sometimes when we start off with Unity Hub, because we have multiple loads, sometimes it's not working uh, correctly. Sometimes it will, but sometimes it's not. So I prefer to click on the latest version. And now we're going to go ahead and create a new project. Even though you're going to be importing a partially completed project in, in some cases, and maybe some cases not, we're still going to have you go to New Project, 3D. And here's where we're going to name it Prototype 1. You'll name it whatever project you're working on. And in my case, it's Prototype Type 1. Now, here's where we browsed. I had you guys browse to your network folder. But don't do that because, like I said, the district is now not, they may delete those files, so you might lose it. Some students have already lost some of their work. So we're going to start going to OneDrive, but here's the problem. This computer has never been logged into the OneDrive with this student. Now, I'm using a student's. You can see Josiah, I'm using Josiah's login as an example because when I'm logged in as a teacher, it doesn't look the same. So this student logging in for the first time to this computer, the OneDrive isn't set up. It just says OneDrive. It doesn't say Colorado Springs District 11 and then has Josiah's name. So what we need to do before I can actually do that is I have to log in to the OneDrive account, uh, Josiah. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Chrome, open up Google Chrome. Go to Coronado's homepage, and here's where you've got all of your links. So Office 365 in this case, because we want to log into uh, uh, the OneDrive account. Notice, uh, for any of these, you guys should have a desktop icon, or you could if you're going to use the same computer or at home. I just want to quickly show you something. When you log in to any one of these pages, you should get in the habit of saving them as a favorite. And hit, hit Done. But now I don't see the favorite up here. Well, I need to turn on the favorites bar. And I can go down here to bookmarks, show, or bookmarks, not favorites, excuse me. I'm working in Chrome. And now look at that. Sign into your account. Maybe I want to create a favorites for Schoology. Or a bookmark, excuse me. I keep calling it favorite. And I put it in the bookmark bar. Hit done. And so now we've got one for Schoology, one for, oh, even though it says Office 365, I could change that name there. Um, but you guys get the point, okay? It's a good idea to favorite those guys. All right, so I'm going to put in his name and log in real quick. All right, so now that I'm logged in, I want to open up the OneDrive so that it syncs with this computer. And so I just realized that sometimes I guess it doesn't sync when I just open that up because it didn't go through the process to synchronize. So what I need to do is open up my folder down here, uh, the File Explorer folder, and try to get it to sync that way. And now when I click on OneDrive, there we go. And so remember, you got to go down here to your folder, open it, but I already logged into OneDrive, so this will go faster. So I'm simply going to log in with my login credentials again. So 
and then it asks you just leave the default folder just setting you up here next next just keep the defaults and and we'll do that later or we don't even have to do that and now it's opened up my OneDrive folder, so check this out. I've got the standard desktop OneDrive, but now I've got the Colorado Springs School District 11. So now I can save directly there. All right, here we go. So now, get back here. And I can, there it is. So I already created a folder in Josiah's uh, OneDrive. So if you want, create a new folder and call it Unity Projects. So I've already done that in his. And I'm going to save it just here in Unity Projects. And I, was, I just tested it, so I created a test project. But you guys are just going to create Unity Projects, hit Select Folder. Now it's going to create a new project folder with whatever I name it up here. And in this case, oops, Prototype 1. And then you're good to go.